Geometry Dash 2.2 will no doubt be the most influential update in this game's history, and while the majority of conversation about the update has been centered around the update's features, not as many people have been talking about things that can happen after the update comes out. So today, I would like to go over a couple of predictions I have for the 2.2 time period of Geometry Dash. Because of how long 2.2 has taken to come out, expectations for the update have risen dramatically. If Robtop doesn't deliver on the expectations of the community while launching the update with tons of bugs or less expected features, I fear that a lot of people will quit the game out of frustration. But if Robtop does manage to pull through and release an update that the community enjoys, we should expect a large surge of popularity that is common whenever new updates get released. This popularity wave may be larger than normal considering that this update has been hyped up for more than four years, half of the game's existence. Luckily, we probably won't ever have to experience an extremely long update wait time ever again. Robtop has said in the past that the 2.3 update will arrive very soon after 2.2, as it is very small and would only focus on bug fixing. He has also stated that he plans on hiring a development team to help him produce updates quicker, so a potential future packed 2.4 update could come out sooner than normal. But the fact that updates after 2.2 will come out quicker can cause many irregularities. Whenever a new update comes out, our levels usually look terrible because people have to adjust to the new editor features. I've already talked about this subject in great detail in a previous video, it will be linked in the end card. But anyway, after this phase of bad levels ends, we start to gradually increase our artistic abilities again. The longer it takes for the game to be updated, the more our levels get better and better. This is because we're spending a lot more time improving our skills with the things we already have and we're not worrying about learning new features. That's why some of our best levels ever created were made in the later stages of an update. So if a potential 2.3 or 2.4 update arrives earlier than normal, that means that our improvement in the 2.2 editor will be stopped earlier, and we'll have to go through another phase of bad levels earlier too. We may not see as many groundbreaking levels as 2.1 or 2.0, because we wouldn't have as much time to improve our skills in this update. But I think missing out on a couple well-made levels is worth it, if it means that we'll be able to get updates on a more consistent basis. The addition of the versus mode will completely change the social fabric of Geometry Dash. New versus mode players can compete against each other to become the best, similar to how star grinders compete to climb the leaderboards. If new stats were created specifically for the versus mode, like win-loss ratios, then this competition could happen easier, as there would be clear stats to try to improve. But if there aren't clear stats to grind for in the versus mode, then this new form of Geometry Dash competition will not be as prominent as the others. The platformer mode is extremely similar to the versus mode in the sense that it will bring huge changes to the game and its community. There would be a new branch of the community focused on creating platformer levels and playing through them. This feature will also bring in new players who enjoy traditional platformer games as opposed to the outer scholar type Geometry Dash is based around. More ambitious builders may build extra large platformer levels filled with puzzles, challenges, and whatnot. We should see a couple mega builds that will have similar playtimes to indie platformer games. More dedicated platformer level players will take the speed running, which will create a completely new way to competitively play Geometry Dash. We should see an organization similar to the Demon List be formed, dedicated to ranking platformer levels based on difficulty and scoring players based on their speed running times. Geometry Dash video and streaming content will be massively changed, primarily because of the addition of the versus and platformer modes. People can host streams of themselves level racing other players, or attempting to speedrun popular platformer levels. These creators can also make stream highlight videos out of the streams they host, similar to what a lot of popular streamers are doing right now. We should see a couple speedrunners or level racers climb the YouTube or Twitch ladders and become extremely popular content creators. I anticipate the popularization of level creating streams and and videos. Currently, the majority of Geomchaf's content is based on the playing side of the game. Building streams and videos have never been that popular, mainly because there's barely anyone willing to try making these types of content. I feel that in the 2.2 era, more talented builders will try to monetize their skills in the form of streams and videos documenting their building experiences. Unlike other predictions discussed in this video, this event isn't necessarily caused by the 2.2 update. I just predict that this shift in Geomchaf's content will finally occur during this time period. 
The addition of editor features like reverse orbs and camera controls will certainly allow levels to become much harder. These features mainly change the camera's movement. While this can allow for more aesthetic scenes and fun gameplay in easier levels, in harder demons, this can make gameplay a lot more confusing. This will certainly raise the difficulty ceiling by a ton, and we'll most likely see a new top 1 demon in the 2.2 era that uses these confusing gameplay mechanics to make a hard level even harder. It's clear that the 2.2 time period will see an immense amount of change. I, myself, am excited to enter this new era for Geometry Dash. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend you subscribe to my channel. It shows your appreciation for my content. But anyway, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.